Yo, what is good? We're back with another video today. We're going to be going over standard deviations and how to use them for price targets. So let's just get right into it. If we pull out the fibs, you can see I have this negative two, negative two and a half area red marked. So in this area, you can expect a reversal or retracement given the context of what the overall draw is. So I'm not going to be going over the draw for today. You can watch my other videos for that. And then if we close a body above this negative two and a half, you can expect a uh, expansion to this negative four area. Okay, so if we close a body above here, I usually will expect a uh, expansion to this negative four. Also, I got this video idea from a member in the Discord to do. He asked me if I use them. I said yes. So if you're not in the Discord, it is free. It is linked down below. So let's get right into it. And I actually was just looking at the market today and saw a beautiful example of this. So you can use this on the one minute, five minute, 15, one, it doesn't matter. Price is fractal. It does the same thing on every time frame. So what you need for this is a manipulation leg. This is how I use them. Uh, I got this from a trader on Twitter. His name is Dexter. Uh, his YouTube is Dexter Live. So if you want to see how he uses them, go watch his video. I don't really care, but this is how I got what I use them from. We need a manipulation leg. So <clears throat> the reason we need a manipulation leg is to measure the overall leg of the manipulation to expect a expansion to the negative two negative two and a half zone so if we look at today you can see right here price is accumulating accumulating and then we have this manipulation leg below these uh, relative equal lows and as you see we expand back inside of the range so where can we expect price to go if we measure out the standard deviations from the low to the high of whatever this leg is you can see that we come up to this negative two negative two and a half zone and we reverse off of it and if we reach this area and we retrace where can we expect price to go because you're probably thinking where's price gonna go if uh, the external draw is higher we can expect price to come to equilibrium of the price leg so right now we're actually chilling right at this level and it is a holiday, so obviously price isn't going to be efficient today, but you can see that it works no matter what. So let's go to another day. So let's cut this and go to another day. So this is Wednesday. This was yesterday. So if we take a look right here at NASDAQ, you can see right here, we run these sell stops literally by a tick, but you see that we run them. So we measure out this high to this low to expect price to go to that negative two, negative two and a half area. And if you see right here, we close a body above this. So we can expect price to expand whenever that might be to this negative four. And as you see, we tap that negative four and expand down. And then if you take a look right here, this is a manipulation leg. Why would this be a manipulation leg? Because right here, this high on NASDAQ, this is a high that took out highs on es so now we have a bearish smt so now that we have smt we have our manipulation leg so right here we measure out negative uh, the standard deviations we close a body right below this negative two and a half and if we do that you can expect an accumulation phase or a distribution phase in whatever uh, market maker model we are in so right here you see we come into that fair value gap and expand where do we expand to low of day which is negative four standard deviation expand back inside of the range where can we expect price to go after we expand back inside of the range after reaching negative four and i actually took this long so we can expect price to go to whatever the equilibrium of the overall range is so as you see right here this is the range we're in we come right to equilibrium and then we chill out for the rest of the day so this is exactly how you can start to find targets and reversals and retracements given the standard deviations. So let's go to a higher time frame. And what I like to do on the higher time frame is bring out these boxes. So you might be thinking, what are the boxes? The boxes show London session in the blue, New York AM in the gray, and Asia session in the red. So this indicator is called futures exchange sessions 3.0. And if I go to the input, you can screenshot this for the uh, settings so right there and right here screenshot that 
all that doesn't matter just third box first box second box that use that so let's go somewhere i don't know what that is so let's go to right here i don't know so right here we can see that we oh right here actually so right here we have relative equal highs in london session price comes up expands down we have our manipulation leg standard deviations where do we go negative two negative two and a half what do we do we accumulate here expand down at new york open where do we go we tap negative four tap it get a retracement and then i don't know what the external draw was on this day so could be lower i'm guessing it's probably lower but right here let's see okay so right here we have a new york manipulation leg let me remove the boxes so it's easier to see why because we take out this high it can do it by a tick i don't care i'd see this as relative equal highs but since we get an expansion down i would see this as a liquidity grab so what do we do boom boom we reach that negative four get a retracement back up expand lower we already have another manipulation leg so we expect price to go to that negative two negative two and a half area what do we do we accumulate here where do we go probably back to equilibrium of whatever the price range is so from here to here come up to equilibrium of that price range boom boom come up to equilibrium of that price range and if we mark out this standard deviation right here we have negative two negative two and a half right there what do we do we come up to it by a tick so right there come to it by a tick and then where do we go oh yeah you probably guessed it equilibrium of whatever the current dealing range is and then we continue to chop around so right there now let's do some higher time frame examples so i think i already said that but now we'll do higher time frame examples uh right here we actually might have one so right here what do we do sweep out sell stops expand higher where do we go i don't know let's pull out the standard deviations look at that negative two negative two and a half expand lower uh we might have a manipulation leg on the one minute time frame so let's go check it out uh right here so yeah we do so right here accumulating run those buy stops now we have a manipulation leg oops now we have a manipulation leg right here where do we go negative two negative two and a half accumulate here you can also see this as a chance to get long or short given the retracement because we expect the external or internal draw to be lower or higher so i'm guessing this day that draw was lower i'm not sure because i'm not i'm not looking right now i'm just showing you guys how to use these standard deviations we expand to that negative two negative two and a half get a retracement up we accumulate here now we have another manipulation like right here why because we run these sell stops we expand higher where do we go negative two negative two and a half pull back where do we pull back to because it looks like we're going up where do we pull back to equilibrium of the price range expand higher and then we take out these buy stops and these buy stops to run high of day so the nice thing about these standard deviations is they usually line up with a liquidity pool because right here you see that negative two lines up with this high so boom right there's a profit target negative two and a half lines up with this high boom there's another profit target but you have to give the idea that we might pull back to equilibrium of the price range that we are dealing with let's do a 15 minute example now because we've done a one minute a lot of one minutes because manipulation happens a lot price moves off power of three so let's do a one minute or a 15 minute example now so okay we are already here it looks like we have sell stops oh we have equal lows here but do we no we ran that by a tick once again so what do we do mark out this so we close a body above there where do we go negative four standard deviation we pull back and it doesn't look like we get to equilibrium of this dealing range but we tap that expand higher you can expect higher prices 
so premium discount no we don't get the discount of this price leg but let's see if we if i can go to the one minute i'm not sure if i have that if i can oh yeah i can okay cool so right here is that area so here we are so oh i remember this day this is a manipulation leg because we formed smt with the es so we come up to that negative four area so we this i remember this day this was just an up only day so that day was literally up only so let's let's look for another day because i took a long that day i literally remember that i banked on that day baby so right here manipulation leg we get to that negative two way over here uh do we have a different high yeah right here's our high so we have a high why is this a swing high because it uh lower high here higher high here lower high here swing high to this low that took out sell stops boom take out sell stops where do we expand to negative two where do we pull back to uh definitely do not get to equilibrium no we almost do but market closed here but as you see negative two was the high of day so this is how you can use this was a quick video i found a lot of examples quite quick because I, i'm just so used to using them now and i use them pretty much for every price target uh so th this is literally how i use them Ooh, we reach negative two over here oh wait <laughs> let's go back here one more example before the video ends I think we may right here boom boom look at that I'm ending it on this because we literally tick it we hit it to a tick hit it to a tick where do we go baby where do we go equilibrium of the price range also I forgot to mention if I didn't, negative one, negative 0.5 can be seen as an accumulation zone. So you can see we form this order block here. We break below it. You can see that as an expansion down to negative two because this should be seen as a accumulation or distribution zone. So this is how I use uh, standard deviations. If you guys want to use them, throw them up on your charts, uh, back test it. I'm not saying it works all the time. Nothing in the market works 100% of the time, but I'm just giving you guys ways to find price levels. So here I am. If you want to join the free Discord, it's the link down below. If you want to uh, use Top Step, that is the prop firm that I use. Link down below. If you're a Forex trader, link down below, MyFundedFX. Other than that, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.